The pipe channel reed is the single most important component of your bagpipes, affecting both how your pipes sound and how they feel to play. And pipe channel reeds, because they're handmade from a natural material, can take the most adjustment and tuning to get right. Channel reeds can be too hard, especially when they're new. They can also get too easy, usually after you've been playing them for a while, and can cause chirps, squeals, instability, and all kinds of tuning problems. And even reeds that are the perfect string can be inefficient and lacking that clear, bright, projecting sound that pipe love. That's why I'm so excited to tell you about my new BagpipeLessons.com Precision Tuning Toolkit. It includes everything you need to get your bagpipe chanter and reed set up and tuned perfectly so you can enjoy a great sound with pipes that are easy to play and stay in tune so you can focus on your music and performance. These tools and supplies have been an essential part of my tuning process for years and I'm excited to offer them to you for the first time in one convenient bundle at a great price. Let's take a close look at my new BagpipeLessons.com Precision Tuning Toolkit and how you can use it to get your pipes in tune quickly and easily. Typically when you get a new pipe channel reed, you want it to be slightly harder than your final desired playing strength because the reed will ease up a bit once it's been played. The reed gets a little easier, more responsive, and more efficient. But what do you do with a reed that's too hard? Sometimes so hard that you can't even play it to start that break-in process. First, make sure to store it in a tone protector so you know the reed is not too dry. Use the tone protector channer cap on your channer and store your other reeds in the tone protector reed case. These are my award-winning and popular products that I invented. They're used by pipers around the world. To learn more about how reeds are affected by moisture, check out the video on my YouTube channel called How to Protect Your Sound, What Every Piper Needs to Know About Moisture, Humidity, and Bagpipe Reeds. Links to the video in the Tone Protector Channer Cap and Reed Case are in the description below. When selecting a reed, try to find one that has the right strength and responsiveness. A reed that's just slightly harder than your desired playing strength is a great place to start. But what do you do with a reed that's too hard even for you to start breaking in? You need to find a way to make the reed easier to play without damaging or permanently altering the reed. I used to lick, pinch, and scrape my reeds, but I've stopped that completely since I started using the tone protector and these professional grade elastic chanter reed bridles. I like to put the bridle low on the reed and double or triple it so it's nice and tight. I never go higher than about a third of the way up the reed. By keeping it low and tight, it pushes the blades closer together, which makes the reed easier to play. It will also raise the pitch of the reed. I've had reeds where I put the bridle on it and it just stays there. I've also had reeds where after some playing time the reed gets a little too easy and then I just slide the elastic bridle down which makes the reed the perfect strength to play. You can even slide it all the way down the wrapping where it doesn't have any effect but it's there in case you need it. These elastic reed bridles are adjustable and non-permanent. Unlike other methods like scraping, sanding, or pinching, these bridles allow you to make fine adjustments without causing any harm to the reed. Since every reed is made from a unique piece of cane, the adjustable bridles allow you to make fine tuning adjustments to get the strength of the reed perfect for you. This flexibility is crucial in ensuring your reed always performs at its best, adapting your reed to your desired playing strength. This is a much better solution than scraping the reed or cutting the cane, which cannot be undone. Those methods also make the reed unstable and shorten the reed's life. Pinching the reed isn't a good idea either because it can damage the reed and make it very unstable. For years, I used to lick and pinch my reed every time before playing, but since I started using the tone protector, I don't need to lick my reeds anymore, and with the elastic bridle, I don't have to pinch or scrape them either. I haven't licked or pinched a reed in years, and the reed life and stability have been amazing. I've experimented with many types of these bridles over the years trying out different diameters, thicknesses, materials, and colors. These elastic bridles included with my precision tuning toolkit are the best for bagpipe channel reeds in terms of size, strength, and tightness. Smaller ones can be too tight and difficult to get on, while larger ones can be too loose. The material matters too. Some of the colored or clear elastics don't hold their shape, get overstretched, and stop working. I selected these elastic bridles since they maintain their shape, they're easily adjustable, and provide the perfect amount of tension to make your reed the perfect strength for you. What about a reed that's too easy? If you if you have a reed that's too easy, it often becomes sharp, meaning it gets too high pitched, or thin, meaning it's quiet and doesn't project well, especially on the top hand. You might hear chirping sounds on grace notes, or when playing certain note combinations, especially when moving from higher to lower notes, or even get squeals. This can happen with a brand new reed that's too easy, or more commonly with a reed you've been playing for a while, it starts to get too easy as it breaks in. A reed like this might serve you well for a long time, but one day you notice a chirp, a squeal, or it starts to get sharp and thin. That's a sign that the reed is getting too easy for you. So what do you do now? 
If you have an elastic bridle on the reed, move it all the way down or remove it completely. If it's still too easy, some pipers might throw that reed away and buy a new one, but you don't have to if you have the Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker. This is the essential tool for making a reed that is too easy, stronger, and more stable. Just like using an elastic bridle to make a hard reed easier, the reed poker opens up the reed from the inside. This makes the reed a bit stronger, brings back its clear sound, and eliminates the chirps and squeals and improves its stability. Over time, I found that some of my very best reeds were reeds that I'd had for a while and then poked. I'd play it, break it in, and it would get really good, and then maybe just a little bit too easy, then a tiny poke with the reed poker, and boom, now it's just right. The reed, having gone through that break-in process, just needs that little poke to open it up so it regains its full sound and stability. Because of the unpredictable nature of cane pipe channel reeds, sometimes a reed can start to go right before performance. If you have my precision tuning toolkit with the Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker in your pipe case, you can give your reed the little poke it needs, and you and your reed are back in action in 60 seconds or less. The Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker comes in this nice little storage tube, and the key is the design. It has a wooden handle and a steel tip that is round and tapered. This is the perfect shape for precisely controlling how much you want to poke your reed. The round tapered tip makes it simple to use. Start by inserting the poker in the bottom of the reed. Do this gently until it stops. At this point, the poker has made contact with the inside of the staple, but you haven't done anything yet. With the tapered shape, the deeper you push the poker into the reed, the more the reed will open up. It's always smart to start with a small poke and see if that's all your reed needs. I use my thumb as a marker and go maybe a millimeter or two. Now push harder and you'll feel a tiny little bit of resistance. Continue until your thumb touches the bottom of the reed, then stop. Use your thumb to push on the bottom of the reed and pull the poker out of the reed. Blowing the reed, now you can feel it's taking the right amount of air and will be comfortable to play. But if you test the reed and it's still too easy, you can always give it another poke. It's better to give it a tiny poke and then another one or two more rather than over poking the reed. I've seen other reed poker designs that are square and blunt without this round tapered tip. These pokers require twisting, which is risky. You can easily damage your reed. The precise adjustments you can get with the Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker just aren't possible with these other designs. The square edges on these pokers can easily get stuck in the reed, whereas the Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker slides in and out smoothly and easily. But having a reed at the right strength isn't enough. To achieve a great bagpipe sound, your reed must project efficiently, giving you a bright, clear sound with minimal effort. This is a crucial aspect often overlooked or misunderstood. Think of the pipe channer as a megaphone that amplifies the sound created by the reed. The channer itself doesn't produce any sound, it merely changes the pitch via the holes and amplifies the sound through its cone-shaped bore, which starts out narrow at the top and widens out to the bottom. The reed is responsible for making the sound by vibrating when air flows through it. The key to a great channer sound lies in the sound the reed makes during the blow test. You want a clear, bright sound where you can blow through the crow at a comfortable strength. If the reed is too hard, use an elastic bridle. If the reed is too easy and produces a high-pitched squeal, use the Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker. But if the strength seems right, yet the reed doesn't give a clear tone, it's not vibrating efficiently. Another sign is when the chanter is loud on the bottom hand notes, but gets quieter as you go up the scale despite blowing hard. This means the reed isn't translating your blowing effort into a sound efficiently. Here's where my precision soft foam chanter reed sanding pad comes in. Using the sanding pad is simple and easy. First, blow the reed on its own. If it produces a crowy sound that doesn't clear up even when you blow harder, it's a sign it's time to sand the reed. Gently place the reed on the sanding pad and slide it down an inch or so. You'll see some cane left on the sanding pad and notice where you've sanded the reed. Repeat this on the other side of the reed. But be careful, it doesn't take much. If you press too hard or take off too much cane, you can ruin the reed. But just the right amount will free up the reed. Now blow the reed again and listen for that clear tone. You can feel the reed is freer and really projecting nicely. When you pop it back in the channer, it's it's more efficient and that bright clear tone comes through all the way up the scale from the bottom notes all the way to the top hand.
Now, this is really important. Don't sand a reed to make it easier. Use the sanding pad only to free up the reed, enabling it to vibrate freely to produce that clear tone when you blow through the reed and a bright, clear projecting sound in the chanter. Never use a knife or a razor and stay away from the bottom of the reed. I've experimented with many different types of materials and found the perfect soft foam sanding pad for pipe chanter reeds. It's powerful, but gentle, and allows you to precisely take off just the perfect amount of cane to unleash the potential in your reeds. This can be used on new or old reeds to help them sound their best. Sometimes a reed can perform well for a long time and then start to feel dead and non-responsive as the cane breaks in and ages. And often just the tiniest amount of sanding of the cane blades frees up the reed and it's back to delivering that efficient, bright, and stable sound. Now that your reed is the right strength and vibrating properly, it's time to play your pipes and see how the reed sounds. Most pipers spend a lot of time tuning their pipes, and for a truly great sound, you want your drones to be in tune with each other and in tune with the low A. And you want every note on the scale to be perfectly tuned so it harmonizes with the drones. Bagpipes are unique in that they have a continuous drone sound, so every melody note played on the channer should blend and not clash with your drones. We achieve this by adjusting the reed depth in the channer reed seat and by applying tape to the whole Holes. Once your reed is at the right humidity level, it's the right strength for you, and the reed is vibrating properly, it's time to take a listen to how it sounds in the pipe chanter. Even with a great chanter like the Infinity Chanter, you'll need to fine tune every note to get the perfect sound. The sound is created by a combination of the chanter and the reed together, and every reed is different because they're made by hand from a natural material, and every piece of cane is slightly different. So when you play, you need to adjust the tuning for each note to get it perfectly in tune. This means achieving a specific pitch based on the drone so that each note is as in tune as it can be with the drones. You can do this by ear or by using your smartphone with my popular Intune mic and a tuning app like the Bra Bagpipe Tuner. You can tune by ear, but it's 10 to 20 times faster using the Intune mic and a great tuner app. Here's how pitch works. The length of the air column from the reed to the end of the drone determines the pitch. The longer the air column, the lower the pitch. That's why your bass drone is longer than your tenor drone. The same principle applies to the pipe channer. Think of the open hole as the end of the chanter. The distance from the reed to the top of that open hole determines the pitch. When you cover part of the top of the hole, the air travels further, which lowers the pitch. This is how chanter tuning tape works. If you put a little bit of tape at the top of the hole, it effectively lowers the top of the hole and lengthens the distance the air needs to travel and therefore makes that note a little bit lower in pitch, flatter. We use tape to adjust a note that is too sharp or too high in pitch and make it flatter or lower in pitch. It works very well and it allows you to get precision control of the tuning of every note on your chanter. I've experimented with many different types of tape for chanter tuning, and the very best I've ever used is the high-performance chanter tuning tape included in my kit. Here's why I love this tape. It's the perfect width for chanter tuning. It maximizes the surface area for a secure fit, but it's not too wide, so you need to cut it lengthwise to fit between the holes. The perfect amount of stretch comes from the thickness of the material and the stretchiness of the tape material. I've tried thicker, stiffer tapes, and they don't hold as securely, and they also don't feel as nice under the fingers when you play. My tape is made from a durable material with the perfect amount of stretch and a professional quality adhesive that works in all conditions. This tape allows you to make precise adjustments to the pitch of every note, ensuring your channer is perfectly in tune. I have tried every brand of tape I can get my hands on, from basic electrical tape you can find at your local hardware store, to expensive tapes marketed as special bagpipe tape, but this is the best channer tuning tape I've ever used, and I trust it to help get my pipes perfectly tuned. Using my high-performance channer tuning tape, you can make precise adjustments to ensure every note on your channer is in perfect harmony with your drones, and you'll know that any tiny adjustments you make will hold, and your pipes will be ready to play when you are in any conditions. This allows you to focus on your music and your performance, knowing your pipes are set up to sound great, feel great, and stay in tune. Finally, keep all of your tuning tools organized and protected in this stylish BagpipeLessons.com signature microfiber pouch. This keeps everything in one place and makes it easy to carry your tuning tools wherever you go and reminds you that you are serious about your piping and about getting a good sound. You love to play your pipes, and you love to play even more when your pipes sound great, feel great, and stay in tune. So take your pipe channer sound and tuning to the next level with my BagpipeLessons.com Precision Tuning Kit. It's got everything you need to get a great sound, from making hard reeds easier to play with elastic bridles, to strengthening easy reeds with my Piper's Ultimate Reed Poker, to ensuring your reed vibrates freely and efficiently with the sanding pad, and finally, to fine-tuning each note with my tuning tape. These are the exact 
tools and supplies that have been an essential part of my tuning process for years, and I'm excited to offer them to you for the very first time in this convenient, comprehensive toolkit. It's the best of everything I use and trust to help me get a great sound. So don't miss out on this opportunity to elevate your piping experience. Visit bagpipelessons.com toolkit to get your bagpipelessons.com precision tuning toolkit today. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I add a new video. Check Check out BagpipeLessons.com for more free resources including videos, lessons, and guides. And download my free PDF guide, How to Achieve a World Class Bagpipe Sound. The link is in the description below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you want to take your piping to the next level, check out my BagpipeLessons.com inner circle. Membership gives you full access to the very best of everything at BagpipeLessons.com, including weekly live interactive online classes for pipers of all skill levels, and access to my massive lesson library filled with hundreds of videos, lessons, tunes, exercise, demonstrations, and more on every topic in piping, from music theory to technique, tuning, maintenance, setup, competing, and so much more. And you get personalized support from me to help you reach your piping goals. To find out more about joining my inner circle, please visit bagpipelessons.com membership. Thanks for watching, and happy piping.